Hello? Am I live? Can you hear me? Is anyone there? I hope so. Yeah, as usual, can you just send a little message to say you're there? Right, till we get to this week's model, have a little chat. Let me think. Well, big excitement this week. I had my jab. I was so thrilled. I didn't get the text till 11 o'clock on Friday night. It says you can have your jab. Booked it for the next day. How good was that? And I haven't had any uh, terrible side effects. Bill Gates isn't whispering into my ear or anything. So that's good. Um, oh, Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, I've got a message for you. I've posted your parcel today. I did take it to post on Saturday. I went on the way as I was going for my jab, but there was a really long queue in the post office. So I thought I'd better not wait because I might be late for my jab. So I went today. So hopefully I'll get it tomorrow. So that's good. I hope. Um, hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi, Ant Oh, hi, Anthony Simpson. You've joined in. Don't you be getting overexcited at Mr. Ganyo. Hi, Karen. Hi, Anthony Duckers. Hi. Oh, by the way, um, Debbie and Anthony, this is the man I was in the gold Rolls Royce with, remember? And I was meant to meet you, and I never did, but you saw the car. So this is him. Um, hi, Pauline Gibb. Hi, Adam Peter Hicks. So I've just been messaging on Instagram. Hi, Kim and Freddie. Oh, good, Vanessa. I'm glad it's come. Hi, Shizuru from Japan. Hi, Maureen O'Donnell. Hi, Louise Blakeway. Hi, Doug P. Oh, there's lots today. Hi, oh, hi, Perry Not from Thailand. Perry, I loved your picture last week, so I hope you do one similar this week. Oh, hi, Riz Fatar. How are you? Right, so I have to say, because Julian's a stylist and creative in the world of fashion, he spent a long time choosing his outfit for this picture. But I have to say, it's so lovely. I'm very jealous. It's his pyjamas, but they're really, really glorious pyjamas. So you don't want to hear me rabbit anymore. You want to see Julian. So welcome, Mr. Julian Ganeo. Hello. Can you hear me Hi. okay? Hi. <laughs> yes. Live from... Hi, Lisa Chester Linsky. Live from my bed his bed is it marble <laughs> art really oh hi neil smith lovely i'm glad you're doing this oh hi sal <laughs> simon. oh first time here welcome where's this a few hi, simon. cool let me explain a bit so what i suggest you do is if you can take a screenshot because i know julian will try to be um sit still but hold also on hold on i haven't stayed should i stay still then well, yeah, if you want to. But he's also a... getting a delivery, so he might have to pop off for a couple. Oh, hi, Mummy Thomas. Hi. I'm Say not going to pop off, though. Oh, from M.E.L. from Brussels. They're friends of yours. So, anyway, so if you haven't got any pencil or paper ready, you can just use whatever you want. Lipstick, <laughs> felt pen, crayon, biro, back of a ticket. They are, don't they, Debbie? They're lovely Jim Jams. Um, hi, Kevin Humphrey. So, what I suggest is you take, if you've got a phone with you and a laptop or something, take a screenshot, then you know he won't be moving because you've got a photo of him. Oh, hi, Julie Fairbairn, who's my cousin's wife. Oh, hi, Joe Gahan. Do you remember you met Julian in Wayne's pub? Right. So, get your pencils and start drawing. Or your crayons or whatever you use. Last week, we had a statue made out of snow. But we won't be able to do that today, I don't think, because we haven't got any snow. And everyone, while it's clear, I want to know, you see a little picture in the corner above Julian's shoulder of a man? That's my dad. He lives in Julian's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I drew it and he likes him. <laughs> Some poor old dead dad lives there. That was the first picture I got from you. I know. So, Julian, let's start. Let me ask you. Oh, hi, Christopher Hodge from... Up north. Oh, Emmanuel. He made yeah, it. Know. You know, son. So, Julian, let's have a chat. Your life. Stop oh. flirting. What? <laughs> With your gentleman callers. Um, now, Julian, where about oh. you brought up? Um, I, I was born in Kingston upon Thames, mm. and um, I was, grew up around around that those parts. Yeah, it's funny because when I was a child, I lived near there too. I know. Oh, yes. And then my cousin, Julie, who just popped up there, she lives 
between Walton and Hersham. So Surrey's doing well. Right, so what happened? Did you go to normal school? Um yeah, normal ish. It was um it was a boarding school actually, but I didn't board. Oh. Um it was called Reed School. Um and there's a few famous people who went there. There was Tom Hardy went there, who was three oh, years above me. Oh. And uh Tim Henman went there, a oh. uh, tennis player. Um can't remember who else off the top of my head. Was Tom and then Hardy our... going when you were there? No, I think he got expelled the year I started or the year after I started. I can't remember now. Yeah. So maybe Simon Vini, who's 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 on, he might be able to refresh my our memory. But I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. It was a long time ago. Yeah. And then when you left school, what happened to you then? I went to um, London College of Fashion. Yeah. And I and I studied um, fashion there. What design? Um, Men, menswear design and yeah. tailoring, pattern yeah. cutting, all that kind of shenanigans. Yeah. Which one did you go to? Which? Part? It was like it was called London College of Fashion. It was it was in the London Institute. It uh, is in the London Institute. Sorry, and it's what um. London was it? It's all over the place now. Isn't yeah, it? the the main two sites I used was the one on John Prince's Street, um, by Oxford Circus. Um, above the BHS, that kind of weird brutalist what? type building. Um, oh, Wayne, hello, sir. Wayne. And then um, also the site on Curtain Road, which is just by oh, Old Street. Oh, Vanessa Crawford, she was head girl at Tiffin in Kingston. Ah. Oh, Jamie T went to uh, Reeds as well. Simon Vini just reminded oh. me. Oh, Thanks, my God, knows it's for clever people. And then, um, and oh, yeah, it was John Prince's Street, Curtain Road, and Golden Lane. Oh, That's yeah. the three sites where we were. So, in quite good places, then. Yeah, cool places. Yeah, yeah, very nice. All, all interesting. And, and I was there, yeah, yeah. did my and foundation course going there. Out before then. Sorry, say that again. Did you started going out in London before you went to college, or was it when you went to college you started? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, you started when you were eight, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you said we've known each other for 30 years, um, and Hello. that would make me at least Fib. 10 years old when we met. And, and I wasn't clubbing at 10, but not, no. not far off. Yeah. Hi, Joe. <laughs> yeah. So you've always liked going out and having fun, have you? Well, we met in a club. I think we met in Crash upstairs. Oh, Wayne's oh, club. VIP bar. I think I can't remember to be honest, but I think we met in a club. Probably. Where <laughs> else would we have met? Shopping? Nah. No, definitely in a club. Uh, definitely in Wayne's club. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Oh, I've been looking for this spoon all day. I've just found it. I was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite spoon. Um, at, least, at least they're so nice and warm now. I know. I've been so I was so cold last night. I had to have a blanket on. Even with it was really in. cold last night. I was freezing. I, I had know. the temperature right up, and I was still freezing. And I actually, know. the bed that I'm currently on right now, I'd never known it to be so rock hard and cold because it's it's one of those tempur mattresses where you generally sink into it. Oh, and actually, yeah. it was just rock rock hard. And um, yeah, it was it was. Uh... Oh, Sevi, hello, and Jim, hello. Oh, all the day for you, Julian. Uh, hello, Adam. And I'm getting, a few, I'm getting a few. I'm looking at both screens, so I'm getting like a fifteen-second delay on one thing, and then freaky, current thing. It? It's, bit, it's a bit confusing. I know. That's why I don't do it anymore. I did to start with, and I gave up. It just sent me bonkers. Well, it's Cause... kind of funny because you end up looking at yourself talking and it's a bit yeah. bizarre. So let me explain to people who don't understand that me and Julian are talking through StreamYard which goes to Facebook, there's a 15 yeah. second delay to Facebook. So Julian's looking at both, so he's a bit confused. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, darling. Yes. So I hope you're all drawing. I hope you're getting on with your drawings as well. How That's long have you been doing this now, sir? Has it been almost, oh, it's almost a year now? Yeah, since last March, the end of since last Mar March. Amazing. I had a couple of, you know, we had a few breaks and that when people weren't locked down because they had better things to do. But now, as there's nothing to do, it's more popular. Mm. 
Um, yeah, but I started it about three or four months before that in um, Wayne's pub, you know, so it was live. So I could, that was nice though, because you could see what people draw in and go around and chit chat yeah, and that. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, sensors at the ready. I haven't got my willy out now. <gasps> Please don't. This is young people. <laughs> Right, so look, you're at college. What were you thinking? Why is it my life story? You didn't tell me it's like going to be all story. about me. I, I thought I, like. I could just, I could just lay here and we can talk, about talk nonsense. That we yeah. to, and gossip. I want to talk about your fashion. Let's not. I want to gossip. It. All right, but that's secret. Just tell me some. <laughs> tell me some <laughs> juicy gossip from I St Leonard's on Sea. Oh, let me think. See, no one's doing anything. Yeah, it's true. Oh, there was a big excitement the other day. This woman put a note on Facebook. Does anyone know Natalie Frost? I found her bank card. <gasps> and luckily, I knew Natalie Frost. Oh, well, that's a relief. But, okay, um, by the time we got through to her, she'd already cancelled it. So that wasn't really a very exciting story, was it? <laughs> but that's well, really Mr. what's exciting in this day and age. What, um... What about Marks and Spencers? When was the last time you went there? Was it a good Was it a good trip as well? You like your trips to Marks and Spencers? This afternoon. Oh, nice. And I got a free pineapple on my Sparks car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they probably only get a funny offer, free pineapple. But the thing is, I've got it, but I never really eat pineapple. It tends to make my mouth hurt a bit. It's a bit sweet. Yeah, a bit sweet, but sort of stingy at the same time. Do you know what I went to the I went to the um, Marks and Spencers in Marble Arch the other day, and I was very surprised to see that the whole kind of the whole ground floor was fully open, so you could go and buy clothes and stuff. And okay. it's pretty much the only store like in the whole of London that I think's open that has you know that's not a food shop. If you know, yeah. What I mean. Oh, the one here is open as well. It but felt they... really, really bizarre and really naughty, like it was like they... not allowed. Yeah, they've closed the top floor here, but they've moved everything, bits of everything downstairs. So you still that's handy. Yeah, so everyone can get their compression socks. Yeah, I've got this very nice gentleman's <laughs> t-shirt. You know, really, really plain, just long sleeves and round neck. I wear oh, it yeah. a, I just for a bit of warmth. Um, right. Anyone else got any questions for Julian? Since he doesn't like mine. Oh no, I don't mind yours. Yours may be going to be. It's maybe safer to with yours. Exactly. Oh, we haven't got a waitrose here, Severino. You have to drive <laughs> half an hour away to Hawkehurst. Sometimes we go, it's a bit of an adventure to go to Waitrose. It's a trip out. But according to Wayne, Peacocks in the town centre is turning to Waitrose. But I can't no. see it. Well, they're going to have to really give it a good clean. Exactly. But that's the information <laughs> Wayne gave me. <laughs> now, when are you getting your second vaccine? I don't know. Here are. What I asked, who designed your PJs? Oh, um, it's a Danish brand called Soland. Um, and uh, Silas that runs runs the brand, he kindly sent them to me as a present um, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, and there, uh, yeah, that's that's the story behind them. Right, tell us a bit about your job as a stylist. Because you very kindly, I have to say, you said to me, do you want to do some pictures for Fendi? And I thought, what? As if, you know... <laughs> How's that mm. going to work? What happened? The next thing I know, I just moved here. I, the builders were in. I was stuck in a spare room, surrounded by boxes, just mm. drawing little pictures for you and sending them over on my phone to you and Sylvia Fen Fendi. And then yeah. they the clothes. Well, it was fun because we I was in Rome and we were we were Sylvia was wanting um, you to design just uh, or just to draw some very mundane everyday objects. Yeah. And actually, you know, you you would just do a set of keys or a banana skin, and then you would send it over Facebook Messenger, and then I would print it out, <laughs> and then we would just put it on, like we would place it on different garments, and then yeah, we just got it all made, and then yeah, it was okay. in the show. It I was know. fun. Glamorous world of Fendi in my tatty little tiny spare bedroom. <laughs> Weird. I could because the thing is the banana. Oh, is that the John Booth headboard? Did John Booth do that headboard? John Booth did do this bed. Yes, it's um, right. it's a it's a collaboration he did with uh, 
Uncommon Projects. I think it's called Uncommon Projects. I'm sorry, I've just gone blank a little bit. But yeah, it's a whole bed. It's not just the headboard. It's the um, it's got like uh, the bottom bit and the side bits and everything. It's quite oh. fun. It's, it's like a big old, old He was cloud. the artist that fended before me, wasn't he? Yeah, he did a he did a collab with um with us. Yeah, um, he collaboration. And then the one after me lives in hey, lives in St. Lens as well. So I've never met him ever in my life. I don't even know what he looks like. Hey, Riley. I still don't understand how you two never ever met. That's but so strange. He's so quiet about who he is. I do know him. You know absolutely every single person it's going. It's a mystery. But I've and... never seen a picture of his face. <laughs> so I just don't know who he is. It's so weird. <laughs> and then recently you've had Noel Fielding. Yes, Noel Fielding collaborated with, with Fendi this season. Um, Sylvia was um is a big fan of his his artwork really so it was kind of stemmed from that and then um and obviously he's uh he's more more well known for his uh bake off uh situations at the moment um but yeah that was that was good fun we had to do that all remotely also just because well everything's pretty much remote now because of covid yeah. so uh, we we Sylvia briefed him on the kind of things that we were doing and we were kind of back and forth with um, ideas and he painted a load of different things. And when, once he gets going, he, he kind of does churn out quite a lot. And he did many, many, he many things. He does about pictures a day on Instagram. He, yeah, he really, he, when, he's, when he's doing it, he's, um, he really goes for it. Um, and um, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. We, we ended up using, I think, three or four different artworks in, in many different ways. Sometimes we do like a repeat. Well, print of them, or we just did, Fendi shirt for Valentine's Day, especially. Put it on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you posted that last yeah. night, yeah, or yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, is it exciting? Do you like working with all different people? Um, I think so, yeah. I think it's just naturally happened like that for me. I think that's also why I ended up enjoying doing styling work because you end up working with many different designers and different houses and different artists, and it's it's not much of one thing and i guess i guess in some ways i i thought or i guessed i was gonna go down more the designer route and then actually lucky enough being a stylist i get to kind of do everything i get to design a bit consult a bit oversee things a bit art direct things a bit and in, and every job's quite different but it's all under the same umbrella so it's yeah i'm, I'm super super happy and i'm very lucky and, and grateful to do what i'm doing at the moment um and say, it actually, when, well, you carry sorry, on. on. No, 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 you go. I was going to say that when I worked with you, when I came to the show in Milan, mm. no, wasn't, <laughs> it, wasn't it? How the attention to detail, it was beyond my comprehension because I'm so slapdash. And then you I, see every single male, there was over 50 models, wasn't there? And everyone came in and had a good 10 minute, move the type in a quarter of a centimetre, do this, do that. It's just well, I mean, we, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's work as well. I think it's you know, it's it feels quite natural to me. But yeah, it's funny when when it's when someone's there who doesn't who doesn't normally see the process. I mean, sometimes it's someone comes in for a fitting and the, the, you know you know exactly what look they're going to wear and it's and it fits perfectly. And you might have done that fitting in one minute, and then you could have someone else and you might try three or four or five different things on depending on their fit and what suits them, and then whether it's done up or open or how you do the bag and yeah so there can be pretty anal intricacies to it but i mean t i tend to like like things looking very natural and very easy but i mean it's it all depends on the on the theme the the, the you know the designer and and also how, how we show things because you know sometimes you could be outside and then if it's windy then you probably have to close all the jackets you know it's not something yeah. you're going to have leave because otherwise everything starts to get blown around Mm -hmm. um but yeah it's fun yeah it sounds it and you've just started work with english legend paul smith how's that i, I have yeah which, which was a, a long time um dream of mine i um i was a big fan of his still am a big fan of his um from an early age and um i'm lucky enough to be working with him at the moment kind of consulting on the the, the menswear 
and styling the uh, the menswear campaigns and um, shows and things. I've been I've been there uh, coming up a year now. Yeah. So yeah, it's very very good. It's very fun. Yeah, I think your job's the best job because say you were your own designer and had your own thing, you'd have to just do that, wouldn't it? But now you can spread uh, your wings. Also, also, I think when it, when you've got your own thing, maybe it, you've, it is a bit more nerve wracking when it's your own baby. I think, and and I I guess I can be a little bit more. I don't know what the word I like more open or more critical, but you know, in a constructive way. So I I can I can see things from an outsider point of view, I guess. And that's why sometimes it, it does help to have an outside consultant or an outside stylist because let, they might be seeing a few more things than 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 you do internally, um, depending on the brand, you know. Um and I think that's kind of where stylists can come into their own somewhat. Uh, it's not just about putting a good outfit together or, or advising them on what's a good color or a fabric or a fit. It's 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 uh it's maybe more of a feeling of what else is going on or what's going to be happening in the next six months to a year or two years. And how do you know what's going to be happening in the next few months? I just I can just see the future. <laughs> no, I don't. I, don't. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. No, um, no, I don't know. You can't. I've been. That's, I don't know. It's just you, the feeling. You don't. It's just a feeling, yeah. And also, you know, it's it's a little bit more predictable at the moment because everyone's in the same boat. Everyone wants kind of something casual. a bit more. Everything, yeah. Everything. Everyone wants something a bit more comfy, cozy, casual. But also at, at the same time, everyone's got this kind of hopeful optimism that you know we're all going to be let out soon and we can all go raving and just have the biggest party of our lives. I've got so people are going to want to dress up. Born. What's I've that? Loads. I've got a cupboard, well, not a cupboard full, but quite a few clothes I've never worn. Ooh. So I don't know where to wear them to. We need to do that caftan idea anyway that we spoke about a long time ago. I still want to do that. In my head. I've got a whole capsule wardrobe. Well, I think, I, think it, I think we need to get that shop on Marina as well so we can sell them. Because Julian is thinking of moving. Well, buying a place in St. Leonard's. But it's all very fraught at the moment, but hopefully you'll know <laughs> a bit more often. Yeah, I don't want yeah to I'm, very, I'm very much interested in um, purchasing uh, a nice little uh, place down there because it's so pleasant and, and lovely and I have the best time whenever I'm down there. It's not a little place you're looking at. It's <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Who's your favourite female stylist? Female as in she's a she and she styles or she's or someone who styles women's wear so you have to wait ages for the answer because it takes no a question oh my god oh adam stuff so adam stofsky what you should do when you've done your picture <laughs> as if it's done on your ipad um let me think what you would do. Take a you can screen grab it now. Screenshot of it. Then you can send it by Facebook Messenger to Isolation Station Hastings. There you go. It's coming up for you. And then I thought you said end, pull out your penis, <laughs> not pull out your pens. <laughs> you're obsessed. I'm you not obsessed. Help. I'm just. It's not nine o'clock yet. The watershed. <laughs> Have we only been going for twenty five minutes? Feels like two hours. <laughs> Yeah, she who is a she, a woman stylist. I don't really know. I don't know any stylists except you. Do I? Um, I mean, Katie Graham's a, a, a great female stylist. Um, she's done some great things in the past, and, and presently she's she's doing some super interesting things. She um, she's created a new magazine called The Perfect Magazine, which is uh, kind of just launching at the moment, which is going to be all over different kind of. Um, mediums whether it's not just going to be a printed magazine it's exhibitions and shows and things um who else is good melanie ward's very good um i can't think of anyone else off the top of my head no, I don't, blank, but no. melanie's great katie's great on the, on the television reality What's show that? reality show pick the best style hey they need a reality show. Pick the best stylist. Oh, really? They've got them for everything else. I don't know. I don't know if many uh, 
I'm really missing try and close on in shops. Oh yeah, I'm like missing. I'm missing. Well, the thing is, I'm lucky enough. So I'm, some of my work's still going on, so I get to touch, touch uh, clothes and do things and do photo shoots. But yeah, I'm kind of, I'm very much missing going to shops or you know just that I'm just missing everything really, like everyone else. Just the process of being able to just go out your front door and be able to, yeah. To do I, think, I hate. I can't remember the last time I tried clothes on a shop. I hate it so much. I mean, I've never enjoyed that. I have to really no, be in the I'm mood for that. Well, usually. And I'm so old now, I can tell what suit me. Lie still, you bugger. There you go. Oh, sorry. He's a fashion teacher. Do you know him, Christopher Hodge? He's so bossy, yeah. Such a such a bossy bitch. <laughs> there we are, Amanda. Oh, yeah, Amanda's amazing. Good shout, Adam. I love Amanda. Thanks, Sean. Another one of you gentlemen. Isn't this just fans? No, there's proper drawers <laughs> and artists here, I think. No, you should all be holding your pens or penises and, and writing things down and drawing. <laughs> Look at I've got fat chin. <laughs> oh, my hand's really numb. I might just do this. Is that all right, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Right, now, what else am I going to ask of you? So Anyone do... got questions for Julian? I like random questions. Have you had your... What are you having for your tea? Have you had it yet? I haven't had my tea yet. I I think I'm just going to have a takeaway. And I don't know what I'm going to have yet. Maybe I'm going to have an Indian. I haven't had an Indian in months. Oh. Um, I quite fancy something quite spicy. Oh, after this you will. You've got lots of options. <laughs> I've got, I made my tea yesterday. I did a day. Oh, I was a bit bored. So I made... I did scrap cupboard cookery. You know, we make things that oh, in the cupboard. Oh, I have heard that's very good fun. It can be, yeah, it can be a turnip. disaster though, no? And I made a bean at shepherd's pie. That's really, and I've got loads left. That's my tea tonight. Um, now, so what's, you work on magazines as well, don't you? Uh, yeah, I do photo shoots and things, style photo shoots uh, for magazines. I, I do stuff for, um, uh financial times um fantastic man magazine um yeah just a handful of mainly men's stuff but a handful of menswear fashion titles um yeah that's what I, that that's kind of where i started in some ways with with the styling um uh, getting the opportunity to to do uh to do photo shoots and uh, come up with some weird ideas and and find weird locations and models and doing something kind of creative. The, um, the day before the first lockdown, we did a photo shoot in Eastbourne. Yeah, we did. That was fun. I like those pictures. It was with oh, my it friends. Was so cold. Lola, Lola and Panny, uh, uh, photographers, were, were, we did a, a shoot for a magazine called Hot, Hot, Hot. Yeah. Uh, French magazine. Did you ever get a copy? Do I need to send you a copy? Oh, well, you sent me the picture, but I've not got a copy. No. <clears throat> Sorry. No, got one. No. I will get your copy. Thanks. But um, we were, I think I dropped you off at St. Leonard's Station, didn't I? Then I went to the fountain and oh, I was yeah. so cold right through to my bones. I had to go home and have a bath. I thought it was going to freeze. <laughs> it's a hard life fashion. Um, I'm very. Now, what was your first styling job? Have you had any styling disasters? First styling job. I don't really remember, to be honest. I was lucky enough to be really... I, I remember one of my first styling jobs doing a show, and it was through Wayne Chires. Um, a good friend of his, Ian Jeffries, was the head of menswear design at Karl Lagerfeld in Paris. And um, he was... And there was a, a Karl Lagerfeld range called Lagerfeld Gallery and ian was like oh why don't you come to paris and help work on the collection and style the collection with him and that was like maybe when i was just out of college so it was probably when i was about 21 or 22 or maybe a year after in the early noughties um and that was that was quite an eye-opener because i was kind of thrown in at the deep end um 
And then before that, I don't know, it's probably a handful of musicians and groups because I kind of fell into to doing styling for groups and friends who are in bands because it was it was something that was it was uh yeah i think i can't remember now uh disasters i i i haven't had many disasters <laughs> i don't think that's because you're I, too good i well, like i just think i can't think of i mean there's always like it's always tricky when you're working with celebrities um, which I don't do very much because because of because it's always very unpredictable. There's always maybe an ego going on or or two with the photographer and a and a and a celebrity, and it can always be disastrous. And you always end up having to bring ten million more things than you need to bring, and it's still problematic. But no, I've not had any disasters. I think there's always ways round and solutions to things, and that's what I also enjoy. If if something's become difficult or you know it's about it's about thinking on the spot a lot of the time if something doesn't work you need to just change you know or if and it might not just be out the clothes it could be about the location or the lighting or the anything but no i've not really had any disasters that i can think of off the top of my head i kind of wish i could because it'd probably make a funny story but because yeah. tell, tell us about your um styling you very much enjoyed with sir anthony hopkins Oh, that was one of my favourite, favourite days of my life. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to style uh, Tony. Um, oh, of course, your best mate. <laughs> Tony, my best mate. Um, I was in LA and it was for um, a campaign for an Italian tailoring brand called Brioni. And yeah, it was great. It was good fun. Um, he was so nice. Um, and... Uh, really easy to work with oh. and uh, yeah no diva tantrums no he was so nice and if anything he was such a crowd pleaser he wanted to he's quite the entertainer uh yeah. he just naturally was kind of i guess i don't want to say acting not not in an annoying way like as in a show-off way he was just naturally accommodating and, and entertaining to everyone in, in very unique individually individual ways which yeah. was which was so sweet. He really had a lot of time for everyone there. Um, oh. Yeah, and he because I, and I, I he the funny thing is me and him had a we were dancing because he, I was asking him what music he wanted, and he wanted yeah. Leonard Cohen. So he um we put on a load of Leonard Cohen music, and um one of his favorite songs is um I can't remember what it is now. Uh, Dance me to the is it Dance me to the end of something? Oh, I can't remember what it is now. Um, but yeah, it was it was a very nice moment. Um, I have some very nice pictures from that time as well. He was so he was very sweet. Oh, yeah. And now, who else do you really like? You work with? Who else do I really like? Who else do you really not like? <laughs> I don't like anyone. <laughs> you do. Oh. Yeah. Now. I'm, I don't normally talk this much. Can you can you talk for a bit now? You you like a chat? Okay. Can I Anyone ask you questions? Question? And you... Okay, you ask me a question. Hold on, my hand Sorry, is so numb. I don't want your hand, but oh. I that thought I was going to be like really good and really still, and it's like we're only halfway through. <laughs> I'm, oh, no. I'm cramping up. As um, soon as everyone's finished the picture, you can send them to isolation station, then Katie will have them ready to show at the end. Um, any other questions for Julian of a nice, simple variety? Yeah, what? nice ones. Or really, really weird ones, please. Yeah. <laughs> what's your favourite cut? What's your best night out ever, Julian? Can you remember? Like one day, <laughs> that's fantastic. The best nights ever you can never remember. That's true. Well, I can. I do remember a particularly bad night, and it was a New Year's Eve night. And it was, I think, Wayne Shires and Rod Lay were doing this mega, mega mad New Year's Eve party called Universe, which was, I think, was like five different clubs in one. I remember like totally blanking out and falling down a fire escape staircase and having to be like carried to like the the office and no one could wake me up. Um, anyway, oh. I shouldn't really say things like that. <laughs> like, it, it was, was quite entertaining. Funny. Yeah. I don't want to get them in trouble. No, it was my own fault. I drank far too much. <laughs> Julian, would you say you like a beer? 
Oh, yeah, maybe occasionally. I've been really good this year because I don't like drinking at home. I actually really find drinking at home boring. And maybe it's because I live on my own or I don't know what, what that is. But I, I, I think it's probably because I love pubs so much. So I, I, um, I'm such a pub person. You'd normally find me in the pub every evening when they're open um particularly the heron which is two seconds away from my house which is yeah. just by um near paddington off the sussex gardens where i, I lived when i was a child sussex, sussex gardens Garden. yeah oh are you single and available <laughs> i'm single but i'm not available <laughs> <laughs> no i am yes i'm single <laughs> oh yeah your graduate and how robbed you were at GFW. Oh. Oh, it's Christopher knows the details. Uh my um my graduate collection was um for the more portly rotund gentlemen. Um yeah. I did a collection for for bigger guys. Yeah. So uh, outsized kind of um plus sized and I had kind of I think eight models or ten models who were um various uh of various sizes and ages um and yeah I'd kind of designed looks for each each of the guys that I knew I think I think the the smallest guy had a 42 inch waist and the biggest guy had a 50 a 58 inch waist yeah. if that puts anything into perspective for anyone but um yeah it was it was it was fun it was uh it's almost 20 years ago now uh, yeah. But it got a lot of attention, I think, because of because it, it felt very new for everyone to to see fashion or clothing on larger larger people or even older people. And um, funny enough, it just seems like it's it's uh, it's a bit of an untapped market. But you know, you there's a lot of um, um, body positivity um, or what do you call it going on now. So you'll you'll see a lot more especially in the female fashion shows, you see a lot more uh, uh, larger girls, more normal-sized girls, I should say, um, in the catwalk. Were the models all exes? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 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 Some of them were current. <laughs> Julian is very strange. Well, not strange, it's nice. He likes the elder fuller figure gentleman, don't you? Uh, Maybe. It's funny when you go out with him, he goes, Cool, look at that. Him, I go, What? What are you looking Shush. at? It's some old man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> nice, though. It's nice. There's a cup for every saucer. Everyone's exactly. Beauty is oh. in the eye of the beholder. Because I remember when I first met you, I didn't really know you. People go, Yeah, have you heard of Julian Gagnon? He's a big thing. He's the next big thing in fashion. They're oh, really? Talking. God, I, I failed them. Well, you are, you've got, no, but I think maybe you found your own better way. All the fashion designers, they all go bankrupt and have breakdowns because life's too hard. Life's tough, but it's fun. Yeah, your life's a good life, I think. It's yeah, nice. It's, not, it's yeah. not bad. I can't complain. No. I can't complain apart from my, my, my right hand has gone numb, but that's, that's the only problem <laughs> I have right now. Sorry. Some people say that's not a problem. They say it's an advantage. What, having a numb hand? For certain things. I'm not going to talk about that more, though, because it's a bit vulgar. Um, oh, your favourite music and your favourite artist? Ooh. Oh. Favourite music? Oh, I've got a really eclectic taste. I like, I like anything from classical to like electronic to to hip-hop i don't know um i'm quite um i listen to everything at different times Do you know what my um, anything they play on radio too my my <laughs> radio two is brilliant <laughs> my favorite artist oh i don't know i like sue tilly thanks uh, i like gilbert and george um i like george condo um anything kind of fun and scribbly and colorful and weird yeah <laughs> um 
James Unsworth, we love, obviously. Oh, oh yes, yeah, we've just there's discovered some, there's some, some James there's Unsworth some, pictures behind us. There's some Those just films. there next to your dad. There's a there's oh, a trilogy here. triptych of uh, of James is there. Actually, I spoke to him just before this. I was like, oh, if you're around, you should come on. I, I, want, I quite like the idea of James drawing me, but he's he's not been on Facebook for years, he told me, which well, is not surprising because not, not a lot of people, uh, not, not everyone really enjoys Facebook, do they? And moved to Manchester. Yeah, I know. I saw. That, that, that was interesting. I know. Sorry, I need a swig of I need a swig of gin. Hold on. <laughs> What's that water? No, it's gin. Is it? I'm really excited to see the pictures. <laughs> I know they're lovely. I love it. That's my favourite bit. <clears throat> but we don't get to see them all till tomorrow because some people do them later. I might. What? Yes. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post all my favourite ones. Actually, I'm gonna post them all. Yeah, I want to cool. post them on my Instagram as well. Yeah, do. It's the best thing. So that, now, does, does everyone? Does everyone leave? Um... Your favourite eighties electronic band. Mm. I know Pet Shop Boys. I mean, Pet Shop Boys are always good. Yeah. Have you watched It's a Sin? I haven't watched it yet, but I'm actually working with one of the actors on Friday. Oh, yeah. Top secret. I'm not saying anything more. Okay. However, I'm working with one of the actors on Friday. And I'm styling him for something. And is, he, is he in a band? I'm just just not telling you anything okay. apart from that, because I'm not allowed to say. Okay. Human League. Oh, human League. Mm, uh, well, yeah, no, they're not really. Human League ain't really. Not, they're not really my cup of tea. They're good, oh, but they're not well, really I my cup of tea. Them. Still like Prince. Yes, I still love Prince, Shawnee Sean. Um, we have got twenty minutes left. I'm gonna start watching it tonight or tomorrow, so I can watch it all by the time I meet the okay. actor on Friday, just in case I have to talk about it. So I need to do a little bit of research. I've heard it's brilliant. I mean, the thing is, I know exactly what what it's about because I've unfortunately seen every single spoiler going from every single friend of mine on Facebook. So, but that, which is fine. I normally, if that happens, I normally like leave the series for a good two months when everything's died down and then I watch it on my own. Um, it's just quite difficult when there's the hype, 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 hype to just watch something and just watch it as you would normally watch something. Yeah. If yeah you I, know what I, mean. I know that one day I'll suddenly have the thing. I go, yeah, I'm going to watch it now. I'm not really you haven't watched yet. any of it then? I've watched one, but... Hey, what is it on? Is it on four? Do I have to go be on... Four, yeah. Four. Can you just download the whole thing? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the world of just downloading stuff. But when I watch a programme all at one time, I feel like they're my friends. And they become my little family. <laughs> at the moment, I'm watching. I don't know why. Well, Maggie Alderson told me to watch it. It's a programme on ITVB called Masters of Flip. And it's Ooh. this nice couple. And they live, they're Canadian, but they live in Nashville. And they buy these houses. And they're all the same. And they do them up. And they make 100 grand on every single one. Wow. It's quite fascinating. That's good. Yeah, but I've watched it about 20 episodes. And they're all the same. And now I feel like they I can hear their voices in my head. I know them so well. Oh, did you dream about them? No, I haven't got that bad yet. You I don't, don't dream. dream. You don't dream, though, do you? I remember that. That's so weird. It's rare. That's quite so, rare. Are you sure you like... don't? Do you just don't remember them, or do yeah, you just dream must... a little bit? But what I like is, you know, when you wake up in the morning and then you force yourself to go back to sleep. Yes. Then I have vivid dreams at that moment. Yes. There, I like that. Yeah. I, I had very vivid dreams last night. Did you? What were they about? I was working with. Weirdly, it was. Luca Guadagnino was in my dream and he was directing a film as he as he does. Yeah. And I just uh he was clean shaven, which I've never seen him clean shaven. So that was always that was weird. Yeah. That's how I remembered it. Because I don't normally rem I remember I do dream a lot, but I don't always remember them that well. But this one I remembered quite vividly. No, I don't know. I don't, no, that was it kind of it. I, I don't even know what ha happened. Vividly, or... a dream I had when I was five. When I lived in Sussex Gardens. <laughs> and there was like these green stairs with lots of walls, a big huge house with walls and doors. and i was walking down the stairs and swords were coming through the wall at me 
And I can oh still remember that to this day. And I think it's like several nights running. Oh, it was frightening. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not frightened of it anymore. <laughs> right. Any more questions from anyone? Deeper meaningful questions. How do you do you think the fashion world is going to recover from the COVID virus? Um yeah, I think I think I think so because it's um yeah, I mean it's it's always it's always going, isn't it? And it's it's kind of a never ending story. It's always pushing forward and recreating know, things and that. That all the pubs are gonna be closed. But people who want pubs, so they will just reopen, won't they? It's just, I mean the thing is I think I think if anything it seems like restaurants restaurant restaurants will take restaurants and pubs are gonna suffer the most. Um but they'll all get back on their feet. Hopefully a lot of places have just got all their rents frozen and, and they're still furloughed and if that's the right terminology. And I'm very good now saying, Oh, I don't need this, I don't know how to eat, it's much cheaper to eat at home. But once they're open again we won't be able to resist. No oh, no. Oh, what's your favourite men's fashion mag? Um, I like very much. I always loved Arena On Plus from from the start, from when I was very young. Still like it, and I I'm a big fan of Fantastic Man also, which I was lucky enough to work for, and still do. Um, I was the fashion director there for a few years. Um, yeah, those two are particularly big faves of mine mm. yeah oh what would you tell 16 year old julian now and would he listen <laughs> <laughs> good question um i don't know i mean yeah i would listen i don't know what i would say i wouldn't say much i would just say <sighs> I, mean, you're done for, right. you, I would say you're in for a, you're in for a, a fun fun journey. Just be pa be patient. Actually, is probably the yeah. one thing I would say, which is one thing I'm not. But actually, maybe my impatience is something that's got me got me in particular situations and scenarios which are which are which are for the better. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Just I'd but, probably tell myself to it to to relax, enjoy. Things are going to be okay. You got regrets of anything you've done? No, not particularly. Um, <laughs> I don't regret the pink Philly knickers thing. No, that was all just a bit of fun. What was the pink um, thing? Should I regret it? Should have I regretted it? But what was it? Uh, um, do you remember KCTV? No. Kenny Campbell. And tattoo, their kind of online fashion thing. No. Um, I did like a little video for them where I was just wearing pink women's underpants, oh, like on a telephone. I don't really remember it. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you should regret it. It sounds marvellous. I think it was great. I've got no recollection of it really, but I do remember. <laughs> do you no, know your Rome agenda yet? <laughs> um no not yet sorry but it's looking like the fifth could be good um sorry we're just talking work now <laughs> <laughs> what musician band would you love to do the styling for oh well, i like how it says dead or alive as in like someone dead or alive but i'd love to do dead or alive <laughs> oh i don't know um Maybe it would have been someone like Frank Sinatra would have been quite quite interesting to have done. Um, or like oh. someone like, I mean, Prince didn't really need anyone. I don't know. Some Maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, Pet Shop Boys always looked amazing. I mean, Chris Lowe always had an impeccable uh, taste. Um, yeah, maybe one of the, the kind of uh, Rat Packy... Uh, I would have liked that. Oh. Frank Something really more is the sartorial. Number one, I think. What's that? Frank's like the number one best singer ever. Oh, you like him? Are you a fan? Oh, yeah, because my mum and dad were, so we used to listen to their records at home and everything. 
Oh, I've just remembered what was the nightmare job that I did. Well, I, well, I don't know how many people are listening. How many people are in listening? <laughs> Hello. So I was working. I had. I was working with Wolfgang Tillmans, photographer, yeah. um, and we were shooting Frank Ocean, um, yeah. and he was a nightmare. Was he? Yes. He kept cancelling, postponing, many, many times over, and it got really, really ridiculous. And then, and then he ended up changing the the location from London to to um, Berlin. Yeah. And um, he wanted to drive to Berlin, and I don't know whether it was so he could he could like bring like bags and bags and bags of weed or what I don't know what it was, and he was like seven hours late. And he was like total weirdo, but kind of, and it was it was such an anno- it was a nightmare. And then actually, it was ending up being some of the best pictures ever because he, we somehow managed to get him naked in a shower in Wolfgang's studio. And then, like the pictures of that from that series ended up being on his album cover, and it was in like a Wolfgang exhibition. Yeah, <laughs> it was quite bonkers. Oh, her dog's called Frank Ocean. <laughs> right, we've got 10 minutes left. So if you could start finishing off and sending your pictures up, that would be brilliant. Two. Oh, amazing. Can I relax now? Or do, I to, do I have to stay still? Is do I, Does anyone need me to still remain relatively still? I'm sure you a bit, yeah. Tell you what, just put your face straight on and then people could just do a quick sketch of your face if they wanted. Oh, oh, oh so my God. Oh. I'm getting oh. old. Oh. Oh, you're all of 40. Your body's falling to bits. I yeah, know. Oh, you poor thing, though, missing your birthday tr- party. Because well, it was fine. in we'll, do, we'll, we'll do a repeat. Oh, I was thinking of doing it in uh, St. Leonard's, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. I know. Well, I can still hopefully do one in July. Yeah. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I guess things might be open by then, right? Hopefully. Oh. oh, hello. Do you know uh, us? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. oh you, can, you can lose your robe now too, Marlena. Ooh. Have you met Christopher Hodge? Sorry? Have you met Christopher Hodge? Yeah, of course oh, I have. We I used to, to drink in the same... We used to drink in the Richmond Arms oh, a long, long time ago. And also I've been up to Newcastle yeah. um, to do a lecture uh, yeah, with his, with his lovely students. Yeah, 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 yeah. My favourite was getting in the cab and it said, if you vomit in this cab, you have to pay 40 quid, fine. (laughs) (laughs) That was so new. When's your birthday? Uh, 7th of July. 7-7. Three weeks. What? Three weeks. It's not a big, big one, though, is it? You've passed your biggish one. Yes, ancient, though. Scary. But oh, well. That's well, you still is. act like you're 12, so it's fine. Exactly, I know. I know. So, you know, I'm a childish very person. It's sad. I've never grown up. I'm like Peter Pan. Has it been a good turnout today? I hope I it has. Katie might be able to tell. If you, can you see your Facebook? Because something tells you how many people are watching. Oh, yeah, there's 48. That's nice. That's a nice oh, number. That's quite, yeah, that's, that's a nice lovely. intimate number. Yeah, and there's not all, and sometimes there's more than one person at the place. Oh. Yes. Oh, Michelle's going. Oh, Michelle's on. Do you know her? I don't know. She does the clothes for the Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh yes, yes, we did meet. We met in the um, we met on the so- in the Sovereign. Yes. On the opening night of Sovereign, the Sovereign on Sea. Yeah. Is it the Sovereign? Yeah. Yeah. That poor pub hardly ever been open. <laughs> Well, it'll oh, be Michelle's open soon. New Zealand, I think that's good. We're going worldwide, really worldwide. Global, yeah, global. Oh, I'm back in my position again for some reason. Oh, fans from the United States as well. Oh, we are global today. We've got Japan, Hello. Thailand, America, New Zealand, America. Oh, so global today. This little station from St. Leonard's on Sea. Travels the world. I was actually tempted to come come down and see you, and and but we're not even allowed that, are we? 
I know. Well, I might or, see. Are we allowed? We're allowed because we're both single and we're or both. You're not one person you can meet in the street. Can we not be in oh, each other's oh, bubble? Apple Wayne's. Yeah. In... Shout out to Hull. Oh, breakfast in New Zealand time. Oh. Enjoy your cereal. Yeah. Suffolk. Oh, big God. up. Big up, big up. Nationwide. <laughs> Marvellous. Scotland, Murray Chalmers was in Scotland. Oh, I hope he did a drawing. I know. Well, he's put a photo of us up on them. Um... Oh, that's nice. I'm trying to get him to be the model. Shh. That'd be amazing. You should. Yeah, tell him. Let's he's... persuade him. Yeah, he'll do it. I'm sure he'll do it. He's yeah, got he some would. amazing tattoos. You get him in his get him in his short sleeve t-shirt. He's got some fun tattoos to draw. Brilliant. Right, so Katie, oh, we can't hear Katie now. Katie, have any pictures arrived yet? Oh, you're growing a beard? It I've a left bit... it for a couple of weeks, yeah. I don't know, I just was a bit bored of being clean shaven. But it's quite annoying wearing the mask when I'm at work on a beard. It's really, really oh, gets a bit, it's a bit scratchy. And how's your car? Is it still locked up for the winter? Yeah, she's asleep for the winter, but um, I might take her out soon just for a little run around. Yeah, Julian's got the most gorgeous car, a big gold Rolls Royce. And when he drove me all through, I was I can't tell you the joy. And it's <laughs> hilarious because people are just so nice to you, aren't they? People just yeah, I think because it's a classic out. car, it's it's not 1980. You don't get too many arseholes kind of shouting abuse. It's when you're in a really new. Not that I'm in a new Rolls Royce or a new Bentley many times, but you know, it's when you're in a really new expensive car, you get a lot of people cutting you up and being yeah. annoying. But when you're in a classic, you get quite a lot of love, which is nice. I know. It was lovely. But yeah, we had fun that day. That was really nice. We, I liked where we drove to in the end, where, where we stopped. Heaven Castle. Uh, where we stopped and I got my, my that little book that I love of poems yeah. from that poet that I had a crush on. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so much. We're in this pub. He goes, look at that man over there. I'm going, right. Shush, don't tell the story. Okay. Time's up. Let's Sorry, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> but honestly, the poems, though, they were, they made, um, what's her name? Hold on, I've got, uh, oh, I've got his book. Hold on, hold on. I've got his book right next to my bedside. <laughs> I like your pillowcases. <laughs> If only Laurie Wilkinson knew how popular he was. <laughs> I've read it. It's yeah, so really beautiful. I really... Go, if you want a copy, go to Pevensey Castle and have a little market <laughs> at pub. He's so lovely. He was there such a nice gentleman. At that, pub, that market was there. <laughs> I love oh, Laurie. Picture. Oh, it, wicked. Murray did was... a drawing. Oh, hello, Paul Murphy. Poplar. He's hello, Paul, hello, Christopher. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Oh, hi, hi Dave. Doug. Hi, Adam. Oh, we're all over the country. I now, can see the, I can I see the screen know. now, so I can see the see everyone. Have we got any pictures yet? Can I'm you... really excited. I know we're desperate. Have you got any pictures yet? So, like, what what normally happens? Does it? So you said they get posted tomorrow. Yeah, she does a big album. Katie does. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, we've got some Here pictures. We go. Here we go. Nice PJs. Oh. oh, that one's cool. Oh, lovely. I like that. It's Adam oh. Stotsky. I've got a little super nice. That's nice. <laughs> David Sands. Oh, I love the colours in that. So, I, that's because I've given him art lessons and told him to be more bold. I like it. It is bold. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That? Jennifer Marsden. Oh, that's yeah, I like cool. That. I love the pencil work. I love yeah. the the pajamas. Oh, look amazing. Oh, who's that? That's nice. That's Murray Chalmers. Love it. Oh, Murray, it's lovely, Murray. Love it. I like my uh, I like my square head. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Paul Waynes. That's mega. Is that Paul Waynes? <laughs> That's so cool. I'm good at guessing who they're by. Yeah, oh, it's who's called... that by? Oh, amazing. David Lawson. Oh, I like that. Yeah, nice. Check Love paper. it. That's like French paper that French people write on. It's so cool. Oh, who's that? 
Oh, Riz like Natter. My dad's just got a smiley face. <laughs> is it for, is it by Riz? It's amazing. Yeah. So you only oh. had you only had a pink pencil, I thought. <laughs> He's used it. Oh, that's oh, lovely. Look. That's very me. Who's that? That's probably? Anthony Duckles. Oh, it's great. Anthony Duckles designs banknotes. It's really cool. I love that. It's super nice. He lived. We went past. He, you know that long, huge road in um, Bex Hill. Yeah. He lives on that road. Oh, marvelous! We love with all the lovely houses. Well, thanks for you sharing those. Facebook Messenger and do it to Isolation Station Hastings. Oh, we, Melissa Hall, you can watch it on Catch Up because it'll be on Facebook now and you can just watch it as many times as you like over and oh, over. Oh, really? Is it, is it, does it stay on? Yeah, forever. Oh, you my God. Have... I hope I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Frank Ocean, it? So I've got a couple more comments. He's I've got a couple more time and then I'll upload them now. Okay, give me a minute. I think he'd be really happy that he knew, that he'd known he was been a nightmare. He's quite into it, I think. Oh, is he? No, Disney I mean, yeah, I think I think he likes the idea of winding people up, which is fine. Yeah. But I think that being late so rude and horrible. <sighs> He's a superstar. He can do what he wants. Still not nice. I was one minute late today. I'm really sorry. It's all right, Julian. I, I forgave you. I just had trouble getting on, I'll be honest with you. I, I actually hadn't gone onto Facebook on my laptop in yeah. ages. And because um, I normally own it on my phone. And um, and yeah, it just took a while to log in. I couldn't remember my password. <laughs> oh, no. Well, as I said last week, there was no sound because I had a bit of cell tape over the microphone. Amazing. Because I didn't know what the microphone was. I thought it was all the holes at the bottom. <laughs> you know, on the iPad. It's like yeah. so tiny, you can't even see what it is. <laughs> I thought it was a speck of paint. <laughs> so my iPad's very messy and falling to bits. So what's the deal now? Well, in the deal, we just chat. See, Katie said she had a couple more pictures. She put Okay, marvellous. And then we just say goodbye. Oh, lovely. And then we forgot, never seen again. Oh, well, I might see you I next might... week yet, because I'm not What's the that? Definitely sure. I'm, I'm telling the, the crowd, the audience, oh. I'm not sure who's on next week yet. I'm pretty sure I'm, we're persuading him now. Get Murray to do it. That's what I'm trying to do. I promise I'll do a really beautiful drawing of him. Yeah, there we are, Murray. That, mm -hmm. Perhaps he's gone off. And then I think we're getting, but, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last now, because of the, we'll all be out, because we'll all be well. Yeah, but you're going to you're not going to continue to do it in the pub. Oh yeah, we're doing it in the pub when it's. And then you can you can then you can still do it. You can still do it on the on this on as well, right? You can still do it yes. live, no? I guess so, but it might be complicated. I don't know. Well, I think it's a good idea to still do it. <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> we're done. <laughs> It's, okay, we've got, I've got a few okay, more. Do you want to see a few more? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, I love that. Oh, that's amazing. That's Who's that fun? Really Adam, Adam Peter Hex. Mega. Oh, love that. Perfect. Really beautiful. beautiful. That's what I would say to people. Sometimes <gasps> this is not... Wow. This one Who's is that? so good. Fiona Godfrey. So oh, it's nice. A... Oh, I love that. Joe Garhan. I, I love that one. Joe, can I buy it off you? Because <laughs> your face was at an angle and she's really caught that. I Those really people. like it. Oh, wow. You know, Karen, you met her. I, like, I look so skinny. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. How beautiful. Who's that's that so one? cute. That's Simon Vini. Oh, that's great, Simon. So you made it difficult. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's mega. That really looks like me. That's so weird. Who's that by? Uh, that one's by Kathy Thomas. Oh, my God. That's oh, so good. Love. I really, really like that one loads. The programs are fantastic. Wow. Okay, there's more coming in, but I'll put the ones that are coming in now up in the gallery and we'll share it tomorrow. So we'll get to see so it. mega. Well, can thank I you so much. Thank you, Thank everyone. You Sorry that, you know, we're just muddling through. 
But I like that better, really. So I'd like to thank you very much, Julian. I'd like to no, thank, thank you, Katie, for doing all the background yeah. work. And I'd like to thank everyone who's watched for joining us. And please join us next week for the surprise guest. Thank you, Sue. Thanks for having thank me. You. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's obviously someone did it on a cigarette packet. I love that. I love it. I love that. I love it. <laughs>